myself Sudhakar Barbade, Assistant Professor, Electronics and Telecommunication Engineering, Walchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. In this video, we will see in continuation with the earlier video, the ladder logics and its basics part 2. Ladder logic is a programming logic used in a programmable logic controllers. Learning outcome, at the end of this session, students will be able to describe ladder logic examples which are very basic one of PLC. Contents, here logic operations are implemented using PLC. Basic logic operations as we know are or and these logic operations are how it can be implemented in a uh, ladder diagram of a PLC. It is a first content. Next, we are going to discuss three examples. Example 1, example 2 and example 3 of a ladder diagram. Let us see how the logic operations are implemented in a PLC. Here we are implementing AND and OR logic operation using a ladder diagram of a PLC. So, this is what uh, a ladder diagram for AND logical operation. If you look at here, this is a, a push button 1, this is a push button 2 and it is connected to the output that is called R1. So, this ladder diagram consists only one rung and uh, rails are present, one is called line and another is called neutral in case of AC supply. In case of DC supply, this is positive and another is negative. So, here this R1 output is activated only when these PB1 and PB2 are active. Otherwise, this R1 is inactive. That is why the here R1 equal to PB1 and PB2 is written. That means, this is a contact of a uh, control relay. If this contact is closed, and if this contact is also closed, then only this R1 will get the supply and this will be energized. So, in this case, to the left side, these are the inputs that is PB1 and PB2 and this is what the output. If both the inputs are present, then only the output will be there or output is we can say energized. In similar way, how the OR operation can be implemented using a logic diagram? If you look at here, here also only one rung is present. This is only one rung, only here uh, instead of connecting this PB1 and PB2 in series in case of AND logic, it, they are connected in parallel. So, PB1 and PB2 are connected in parallel and the R1 is connected after this. So, here this R1 is getting supply of this uh, line connection when either of this switch is closed, either PB1 is closed or PB2 is closed, this R1 get supply. That is why here R1 is equal to PB1 or PB2. Okay. So, this type of uh, connection or logic operation is called R and in ladder diagram uh, literature, this connection of PB2 is also called as latching. Let us go to the example 1, ladder diagram example 1. So, here what we are doing is, our aim is 
very simple ladder diagram and our aim is this is one of the motor and we want to make this motor on by using push button 1 and we want to make this motor off when using this push button 2. This is what our aim. So, here this is what the ladder diagram and this is what the task. What is the task? Task is very simple start oblique stop a motor M. You start the motor by using PB1 and stop the motor using PB2. If you look at this uh, push buttons, uh, PB1 is normally open, PB2 is normally closed and this is a contact relay 1, CR1. So, this contact relay will be energized, when it will be energized? When this push button 1 is pressed because this push button 2 is normally closed. So, when we push this, this line will be uh, available to the CR, neutral is already connected. So, CR is activated, contact relay is activated and because of that this CR1, uh, this, is a, this is a coil of the contact relay and this is a uh, contact of the coil relay. Okay. So, when this CR1 is energized, this contact of the uh, CR1 uh, becomes closed and when this becomes closed, this motor gets a supply. So, this is a push button, when I press this, this is energized CR1 and the contact of that coil uh, relay becomes closed and motor starts. But since it is a push button, uh, push button, if you remove the um, push button, then what will happen? This will become open, again this will not be energized and since this is not energized, this will again become open and when this be will become open, motor stops. That is why here start a motor by push button PB1 and here the question is, will motor M keeps running? Will motor keeps running in this case? No, because this is a push button, as soon as you press it, it will start, but as soon as you remove your finger from the button, this motor gets stopped. So, this motor will not keep running. So, how we can do the modification in this slide diagram, so that I can complete my task of uh, starting a motor by one button and stopping the motor by another button. That is what example 2 we are going to discuss. Before that, how the motor M can be kept running. Pause the video and answer the question. Now, the answer of the earlier question lies here in this ladder diagram. Okay. So, here what change we have done is just addition of this CR1 in parallel with PB1. This is C, CR1, it is here. No change is here in the rung 2, only change is there in rung 1. Additional contact of this CR1 is connected in parallel with this. And if you do this, we can start the motor by PB1 and stop the motor by PB2. And how it happens, just look at. When we press this button, what will happen is, uh, this contact will be closed, this is normally closed contact, so CR1 will be activated and because of this CR1 is activated, this CR1 is closed, motor starts. All in addition to that, this CR1 is also becomes closed and even though now PB1 is off or we can say um, contact is open, the uh, circuit completes through this CR1 to the uh, coil. So, even though this PB1 is uh, off after some time, the contact remains closed through this CR1 and this motor continuously rotates. So, here, here again task is start and stop a motor M start a motor by 
push button PB1 that already we discussed and because of this CR1 connected in parallel with PB1, the motor keeps running even though this PB1 is open. And to stop the motor, what we should do is we should push this PB2 button. So when I push this, uh, the circuit uh, to the CR that is coil of the uh, relay 1 uh, is disconnected and because of this, this uh, CR1 is uh, open and motor will not get supply and it will stop. Okay. And similarly, this CR1 will also will open, will become open uh, because this is temporarily open, but if I remove the finger from this button, again it becomes closed, but since this CR1 is de-energized, this is open, this is all normally open. So, motor stops here. So, here uh, main, uh, this motor M is maintained in the running condition and stop the motor M by push button PB2. Okay. The last example, here what we are assuming is uh, we have uh, physical system is not shown here, overhead tank and overhead tank is filled with a uh, water by a motor and when this tank gets full, there is a limit switch called LS which becomes closed okay. Okay. and based on this limit switch condition, either it is open or closed, the motor is turned off. So, let us see what we have to do here. Start a motor and it is stopped when tank is full, when tank is full. So, this is a normally uh, closed limit switch. Okay. So, this motor gets a supply through this CR1 and CR1 gets supply through this PB1. So, only because here we are not stopping the motor by manually. This motor is stopped automatically by uh, limit switch. Okay. So, there is only push button 1. If I press this, this relay coil get energized and because of that, this CR1 gets closed, this CR1 also gets closed and the power supply will be given to the motor because this is normally closed contact. So, motor starts lifting the liquid on a overhead tank and when the level reaches to the top the limit switch becomes open and when it becomes open, the motor stops. Okay. So, the motor stops. So, here start a motor by push button PB1, maintain the motor M running and stop the motor M when LS is, that means limit switch is true. True means it is uh, we can say uh, gets open. So, this way we can automatically uh, control the operation of filling a water tank with a water by using this ladder diagram. References, I use this PowerPoint presentation from the internet for creating my uh, slides. Thank you. Thank you very much.